December 26th, we got the Walk-Ons Independence Bowl. This is down in uh, in your neck of the woods. Shreveport. Shreveport, Louisiana. 3 p.m. on ESPN, 3 p.m. Central. You got Louisiana Tech with Skip Holtz and Manny Diaz's Miami Hurricanes who found a way to scrape them way, like their way into a bowl game at 6-6. You six want to talk six. about a team that does not want to be at this bowl game. Um, Miami is going to Shreveport. Motivation might be a factor here. Just a little bit. Uh, Miami defensive end Trayvon Hill and defensive lineman Jonathan uh, Gervin are both sitting out this game. So That's it. that could be a problem. Uh, both of them getting ready for the NFL, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Miami 3-6 and six against the spread I'm as a favorite I'm surprised this year. there aren't guys that are projected to go in next year's NFL draft that aren't going to play in this game. <laughs> Like, we, like oh, I think I got a hammy, coach. Like I really don't want to. Oh, I, I don't. Gotta, I don't want to do this. I got a hammy. I got the. I got the trot. Sorry, I can't go. Opened at uh, Miami minus eight. Dropped to Miami minus six. That's probably smart. I'm going to bet that's a lot of sharp money. The uh, saying, uh, "You gave me more than a touchdown, <laughs> you fool." The opening line was forty nine and a half. That has creeped up to fifty here. Yeah. Uh, Louisiana Tech, of course, they're getting their uh, their quarterback back. He Correct. played in the last game. He was suspended for I think two games. Two games, yeah. I was going to say he missed two um, games. And and the wide receiver is going to be back, et cetera. So they are going to be back. And they were, I mean, they they went zero and two yep. without those guys, but they were nine and one with them. Like this team is good. This is a good football team. Yeah. Their and only loss was at Texas. Beating a team like Miami changes a program like Louisiana uh, Louisiana Tech. Yeah. It, it just does. Absolutely. And Miami does not want to be there. I mean, Manny Diaz isn't going to want to be there. Well, let's let's just look at Miami as a football program. Okay. They have lost eight of their last nine bowl games, and that is under five different coaches. That, that kind of – all those numbers make sense. If you just pulled somebody out and said, I'm going to read you this stat, everyone say – yeah, that kind of hits all the boxes, doesn't it? Now, on the other side, Louisiana Tech has won five straight bowl games. Yeah, that didn't surprise me either. They, they Well-coached team that's going to be motivated to play in any bowl. Oh, and, any and bowl. Louisiana Tech is sitting at 9-3. and three. They'll be playing for that 10th win. That's, right. that's kind of a big deal. That'll be the oh, yeah. first time in program history they have hit 10 wins. That's right. Which was very surprising to me, by the way. Yeah, they're a really good team. But, I mean, they always play a kind of a tough non-conference schedule. Yeah. And then they also... They're in a tough division. I mean, they conference yeah in conference state, USA. Yeah, yeah they, it's they not it's not easy. Now this year, a little easier than than usual. But it's top heavy, definitely top heavy. So it's hard to get. I mean, you don't play ten if you only play twelve games. Yep. All right, and two of those non cons are against Power Five. Usually, you're getting the chick, and then you've got two or three other teams at the top of the heap. Yeah, They're tough to beat. Ten wins, tough to come by. I uh, I can talk about stats all day here. Uh, I think motivation is the biggest thing. That's it. Uh, I'm taking Louisiana Tech plus six. Because stats don't matter in this game because the teams Miami played and the teams Louisiana Tech played, for the most part, aren't close to the same. So none of their numbers matter. Yeah. Who wants to be here? Who's well coached? Yeah, I'm taking Louisiana Tech plus six. I'm going under the 50 here. I'm doing the exact same. I'm going to have money line on Louisiana Tech. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you this. uh, For those that care... If you're betting dogs in the bowl season, just take the money. Just it, like take the money line. Yeah, like that's that's the smartest way to go about. While you're it. looking this up. Real, uh, it doesn't matter. Keep going. What, what are we looking for? I was gonna look up the money line, but it, it's making me re-log in. Well, we we got a couple of seconds here, so you can go on and, and pull that up uh, because I did not have that listed here. Um, we never do, but that's fine. Yeah, that's I was a, just curious. Maybe I should add that. No, it's no, a, no, no. It's, it's, a, it's so more many, data entry. You already do so much shit. <laughs> Yeah, you get. Oh God, it's not even that much. Vegas, Vegas does not want you to play the money line. It is plus one eighty five. That's well, it's close to plus two hundred. It's close I mean, you're to almost plus doubling your money. So you basically have you're laying a touchdown, but we believe that's a team that they think the dogs gonna win. Yeah, that's a hundred percent what that is. 